composers and welcome to The Composing Cook. Today I'm going to be showing you my recipe for my smoky ham and cheese bake. Okay, to begin with we need to make some sandwiches. I've made some here but I'll show you how I did this. <laughs> it's a sandwich right? Okay, I've got two slices of bread here. It's got to be quite dry the bread and try and, try and get square bread. If I'm honest with you the cheap pappy bread you get is probably perfect for this because it's going to be a little bit dry anyway when you buy it and it soaks up all the eggy goodness when we get to that point. All right, so on one slice, I'm going to spread some caram caramelized, caramelized red onion, okay? Easy for you to say. Yeah, caramelized red onion, that'll do. And on the other slice, we're gonna put some Dijon mustard. We need to add some smoke to this, and that comes in the form of my ham. I've got some oak smoked ham. Now, depending on the thickness of your ham, you might need to put two slices in. This ham's quite thin, so I've got to, I'm gonna put two in. And I've got some applewood smoked slices. You can get them from any supermarket, obviously sliced for you already. Put that in, and you see it's perfect little square. That goes on top, like so. Cut it to a triangle and add to my other sandwiches. So in total, you've got five sandwiches and that is for my dish, which is right here. I need to make my eggy mixture. Think croque monsieur. This is a version of that really, but my own version. So in my bowl, I've got nine eggs, large eggs, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, so you can see we're bringing out that smokiness in the eggy mixture as well. Um, half a teaspoon salt and some ground black pepper. I'm gonna just beat that up with a whisk. And I'm also gonna add 120 millilitres of milk to this. Give it a good mix. Or should I say give it a good whisk. And while we're here, while I'm whisking away, my fellow composers, don't forget, if you're enjoying my videos, to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. Ping. Do it. Do it now while I'm whisking. There we go. Come on, whisk. Come on. Do it. Do it. There we go. That's good. Now, let's put this thing together. Most people put the um, sandwiches in the dish and then pour the um, eggy mixture on top. I don't do it that way. I always like to put some at the bottom. Those um, red bits is just paprika, but that's absolutely fine. It will um, break down anyway. That's fine. What we have to do now is put the sandwiches in. I should have actually cut one in um, half the other way. You can do. Still got that option. Yeah. It's never too late. It's never too late, we've still got time. Put that one in like that. And then put that one in like that. Squish it all in. And then pour the rest of the egg mixture on top, covering all of it. Is this a carb-free dish? It is a carb-free dish, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep, 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 yep. You can see because the bread's quite dry, it is going to get sucked up quite quickly. Because this, this bread is thirsty. <laughs> so just try and cover Squish it all up. Squish it in more. Squish it in with your hands like that. Break up all these bits of paprika, you see that? Just get your hand on it and just spread it over like that. Now, you're gonna need some patience here. Ideally, this should go in the fridge overnight so that everything can really get soaked in, all that eggy mixture can get soaked into that bread. But leave it for an hour in the fridge and that should be fine. All right. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for an hour and then we'll come back. Maybe a bit longer, see how I feel. See you in a bit, bye. So there you have it, look at it. See, all that eggy juiciness has all gone. It's all disappeared, not a drop to be seen anywhere. 
Um, now here I've got 120 grams grated extra mature cheddar cheese. Let me taste it. Does it taste all right? Mm -hmm. Does it That's taste right. like extra mature cheddar cheese? That's safe. Right, let's put it on top. That's nice. Now, my oven's preheated at 180 degrees. I have a fan assisted oven, if yours isn't, about 200. This needs to go into the preheated oven for between 25 and 30 minutes. So, let's put it in. Get on with it. And I will see you when it's done. Take it all in. delicious. Notice how not to get out of the oven, it really puffed up and it's dropped a little bit now, which is fine, that's normal. Um, I would say give it about five minutes before you start eating it, because it'll be way too hot. Um, this will go perfectly with a nice, healthy salad, or packet crisps on the side and some ketchup, yeah? yeah. That's probably more like it, I think. That's definitely um, a Saturday night dinner. Definitely. So my fellow composers, make it, enjoy it, and you will love it. Mwah!